Hello beautiful people, welcome to another video. My name is Namalina and today I am very excited about today's video. It is kindly sponsored by the one and only Ali Grace and it says show your beauty with Ali Grace. I am very excited about today's video because as you guys can see I cut my hair again. I'm essentially bold and I thought I might as well show you guys what I do when I go to the gym when I have an errand and I just don't feel like going out like this. And I feel like I want to put on a quick wig. The headband wig is perfect for that. So today's wig is 24 inches. It is in a deep wave texture. Unfortunately, guys, it's not new because I've been abusing and wearing this for so long. I've been going to the gym in this. So I'll also be able to show you guys how the wig has aged with time and also showing you guys how I revive it and keep it looking nice and fresh. So your wig will come in this lovely satin bag. Guys, these bags, please don't throw them away. You can use them for storage for your wig. It really, really does help. Then your wig will come in a little plastic like this. Um, it'll have this little sponge just to keep like the headband part. And then inside you will also have the padding that goes like inside your wig. It also comes with a wig cap and they actually have a really good shade for this. Um, but I won't be wearing it. I want to just show you guys like how I put it on. Go out real quick, okay? Um, it also does come with a little band that you can use to cover. That's for covering like the beginning of the headband. And then they have their booklet in here that just shows you some of their items. Um, if you ever have any questions, they do have like their contact information here. So on Instagram, the Ali Grace Hair underscore one. On Facebook, the Ali Grace Hair. YouTube, Ali Grace Hair. So they're also on TikTok, which is something that I find really interesting because um, I don't see a lot of hair companies on TikTok. Like they're really moving with the times. Okay. So they do also have a part that shows you how to wash your wig please let me know if you guys are interested in a video showing you guys how to wash the headband wig it's pretty much the same as a wig but you don't have the maintenance of like cleaning the lace and getting rid of the hairline and all that kind of stuff um getting rid of the glue on the hairline like a lace wig which is something i really enjoy about headband wigs okay so like i said guys i've been wearing the wig <laughs> so this is what it looks like the texture is absolutely beautiful one thing i noticed about this headband wig particularly from ali grace hair if you check my previous headband wig videos you'll see that the back part They've stitched it until the back part. So with other headband wigs, this headband part will be free up until here. Whereas this is stitched down all the way till here. And only this part is free for you to overlap them like that. I hope that makes sense, okay? So instead of them letting it be free and, being, and stitch it right here, they've stitched it all the way, going across with the wig, and then it's only free here. At the back which is really really nice I've seen that it gives me more security particularly when I'm in a high intensity um, workout at the gym it really does help okay also inside I noticed something very interesting with theirs in particular they use like a lace closure wig cap like the adjustable wig cap you will see this part here is where your lace closure would normally be and then they've stitched each weft like really close to each other and what I found with this is at the top right here, your wig looks more natural because there's so much hair, there's no spacing. So with some of the headband wigs, because they don't use the shape of the lace closure and they don't stack like the wefts like that, what you find is that when you put your headband on, when it curves with your head, you can actually see um, the wig cap through. So because of the construction of theirs, I am extremely impressed. It has tons of combs which are useless for me because, <laughs> girl, I don't have any hair. Um, but they do have combs here. They have combs over here. And they also have combs at the back as well. So let's put this headband wig on. So to put on your headband wig, you want to open up the headband part. I've never seen a headband wig that's not like black, like the headband part is not black, okay? They've all been black, okay? Um, ideally, when I have a ribbon with you, I don't have a ribbon with me, but I want to show you guys what I meant um, about the back. So, you guys can see, it is stitched on literally here, up until here. 
So it's only loose from here till here. Other headband wigs, they will have it loose all the way till there, okay? Which creates an unstable structure. But because of the way this one is made, all you would do, I'm sorry that I don't have a ribbon with me, you'd put this one flat and you would tighten it because it stretches. That is if I'm going to the gym running errands. So, what if you've got to go somewhere where you really want to look nice but you only have the headband wig, right? You want to still have a really put together look but you want to wear your headband wig, okay? So, I'm going to show you guys what I do in that instance. Um, this scarf is actually, I don't even know, if, it's not even a scarf, it's a belt. This belt is actually from one of my shirts. Um, it's like the loop thingy. And I'm going to show you guys how I use it. I'm going to just divide it in two. So this is not using a scarf. This is literally just using a little belt real quickly. And I'm going to show you guys how I would use this. So you want to make sure that your headband is folded in nice and tightly. So it's small. Because remember, this headband opens all the way till there. But I've folded it in half. And then I've gone ahead and folded it again so that it's as small as possible. And I'm putting it on my hairline, okay? Not in front, not behind, right on my hairline, okay? Divide your belt in half. Um, if you have a ribbon, this will be easier if you have a ribbon. I unfortunately do not have a ribbon with me right now. So I'm just going to put it at the back. And this is because the length of this belt is really not long enough to go around three times. I'm gonna start at the back because I don't want this embarrassing me, okay? We're going to a really nice event and we wanna make sure that we're able to wear our headband wig, okay? So, first way around, I'm gonna make sure this is nice and flat. Once again, if you've got a ribbon, this would really work much better that way. I'm gonna make sure that it is flat like that right and I'm putting that right over there and then taking it to the back now with events and stuff like that I've realized that the best way to get away with wearing a headband wig is to really accessorize um, and I'll show you guys how in a minute okay so I've tied it taken it to the back like I said guys it's really short you guys can see and I'm gonna just tie it really firmly at the back not to give myself a headache, but just to keep it in place because we're going to an event, we want to look nice, um, but we only have a headband wig. Maybe all of our other wigs are dirty or we don't have another wig. This is our first wig or our only wig, okay? So I'm just going to flip my hair to the side. I really should have a ribbon with me, but unfortunately I don't, okay? And I'm going to really tie it nice and snug, okay? Not to give me a headache, guys, but just like to keep it nice and secure you don't need this moving okay so now that it's tied I want to make sure that it is sitting properly here in front and by sitting properly I mean that it is nice and flat and it is covering the front of my headband and a little bit here towards the back you've got your headband wig on like this right looking really cute already but like i said accessorize now guys unfortunately i don't have earring holes but i'll just give you like an idea of what i need accessory number one would be a necklace obviously you would wear something a little nicer than this um and you would not be wearing what i'm wearing which is a hoodie um you'd be wearing something a little nicer than this so you would wear something that correlates with that so i'm just gonna put it on for the sake of the video just to show you this is a custom necklace from Julia Jewelry. I have reviewed this on my channel and it just has my name, Namulina, on it. Okay. Secondly, I would put on some shades if it is like an outdoor event, something of the sort. Um, I'm going to be wearing clear ones for today's video just to give you guys like an idea. Right? That's what they look like. I hope you guys can see. Unfortunately, I have these, <laughs> I have these lights around. Next up some designer earrings i will review this for you guys um i am definitely going to review this for you guys so just please give me a minute these are from bye bye station so i will review these for you guys please just give me a minute this is what it looks like i'm just giving you guys a preview 
but I will have a dedicated video reviewing these, okay? And I've got the little dust bag, so let me just, I don't know how I'm going to try and put them on, <laughs> since guys, I do not have like earring holes. These are those earrings that everybody has. Everybody's going crazy over. I do not have earring holes, guys, so ooh, this is quite impossible. Uh, this is impossible. I was hoping like the pressure would keep it on <laughs> my ear, but it doesn't. It's too heavy. Okay. But essentially, you would then have your earrings on. You do not have to wear the glasses. As I can see, it looks a bit much. But you can literally just have your earrings on um, and then have a nice necklace and you're out and you're good to go. Guys, it's just, it's, it's, it's easy. You know, there's no lace to worry about. There's none of that stuff. It is so convenient. Um, and if you're new to wigs, this is the number one way I would say start out with it. Especially if you have like relaxed hair, or you have a full hairline and longer hair than me, then you can leave your hair out in the front. I still wear the headband wig, even though I don't have any hair. Um, I still think I'm able to get away with it. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Please check the description box. All the information will be there. Thank you for watching guys. Bye. Oh.